Uh, PG, we've got a couple more special guests here, um, and we have got a return guest, a multiple year guest, and I just saw her updating her resume as the um, the brains Hank behind Cam. Hank Cam. Um, her name is JJ. Really, Shepherd. just truly exceptional work. Uh, if you're just joining it's us, and you, that my nose is so itchy. Actually, yeah, that's the I'm very dog. allergic to. Do it is the second dog today. What a great day! What a great day! But <laughs> Hank was just spectacular. Oh, I miss Hank. So uh, earlier today, JJ, you were here talking about York Story Slam. Now we're going to be talking about Cable House Presents. First of all, congratulations! You're doing spectacularly today with eight thousand dollars raised towards your ten thousand dollar goal. Ninety-one donors, ninety-one gifts. Love to see it. Yeah, uh, hoping to hit a hundred donors, so we're closing in on it. That's amazing. Cable House has had a very busy season so far. Yeah. More to come. Yes. So if somebody, before we dig into that, if somebody doesn't know what Cable House is, has no idea what we're talking about, if you're on GiveLocalYork.org, K A B L E K A B L E, Cable House presents. JJ, what is Cable House presents? Cable House Presents is a pop-up concert series held primarily in Central Market. So we rent the market out about once a month. We do 10 shows a year. And uh, if you're familiar with Central Market in downtown York, we take out all the tables and chairs in the seating area between, you know, Mezzogiorno and Robberitos and um, this little light of mine. And uh, we put the chairs back in sort of theater style. We bring in national touring acts uh, and give them this... Um, and our audience this listening room experience. So the people buy a ticket because they are there, they wanna hear the music, they're not talking over it. It's not like when you go to a bar and the, the music is sort of, you know, creating atmosphere and, and kind of in the background, it's, it's the focus. And it's wonderful. Yeah, and I, you know, since the beginning, one of my favorite talking points and what I like to hear about Cable House Presents um, is how much the musicians enjoy playing in York and playing that room. So talk about that because the the experience for the concert goer is obviously unique and for what you just talked about, right? It really is about the music. But for these musicians, the audience is focused on them. They're focused on the audience. It's really kind of an intimate experience. Yeah, it's, it's really an exchange. Um, I think that it's uh, one of York's sort of best kept secrets. If you're not involved in the music community, you would yeah. never know this, but there are bands who, uh, all over the country, who know about York. Um, they know that artists are treated well here when they're visiting. They know that they um, are welcomed and taken care of. Um, it's not just Cable House Presents, the Appel Center, um, Sign of the Wagon, which is a house concert series, Skid Row Garage, which will reopen its new location soon. We're known for hospitality um, and for helping bands to build their audience here. Uh, you know, and, and because we have different size rooms, they may be able to graduate up to a bigger room the next time they come through. Uh, I'll give you an example, though. Uh, we have a band coming up May 19th, a few Fridays from now. Um, they're called Ward Hayden and the Outliers. They're based in New England. And they were our second show back after we went back to hosting live music in person last year. Um, so we didn't feel like they really got a fair shake. We're still building our audience back up from the before times, as I like to say. <laughs> And, uh, and so we invited these guys back um, because the booking agent reached out and said, uh, these guys loved visiting York so much and felt um, like it was such a good experience that they asked me to reach out to you first, get a date on the calendar, and then they routed the tour, the rest of the tour around it. So that's the level of, you know, people can't wait to come back. And because I only host 10 shows a year, yeah. can't always bring everybody back right away, but I was really excited to bring them back. So for... Um Cable House, again, you're at a, just over $8,000, 91 donors. We're going to get you to 100 by the end of the day. Um, you have here that this is about, Give Local York is about half of your annual budget. So this yeah. fundraiser, very important for the organization. It is, and we try to keep our ticket prices low so that it can be um, an accessible experience for people who are interested in live music. Um, so that means our ticket sales are never going to break us even. Uh, we have very low overhead. Uh, our expenses are lean and mean, and also we don't have a lease. We're a pop-up series in, in somebody else's brick-and-mortar locations. So um, we can keep the expenses low, but we're never going to break even still on ticket sales. So we rely really heavily on fundraising, and Give Local York over the last five, six years has allowed us to concentrate you know, that one annual appeal into this one day, and that means I can focus more on, you know, 
bringing in different genres and different voices and, and focus on the programming instead of running and running and running to do the fundraising. Yeah. Well, and I mean, it really, all of the efforts and the fundraising efforts and the impact of Give Local comes out the other end as you have had over 7,400 attendees at concerts, you've put on 70 events, and you've paid nearly $80,000 directly to the musicians. That's the number I'm most proud of. Yeah, especially given what we've just come through in the last few years. Uh, in 2020 and 2021, I did a lot of, spent a lot of my time doing advocacy work uh, for COVID relief funding for small venues because as the small venues were closing up, that messes with the touring routes. The artists are stuck at home. Their livelihood was, was taken very abruptly. Um, and they had to get pr pretty creative about how to pay the bills in the meantime. So, um, and it's still really dicey with, with touring right now. And um, a lot is happening. And if you have a whole touring party and one person gets sick, it puts the brakes on it. And uh, you're already probably not breaking even right. on touring. So um, we do what we can to keep everybody safe and to um, make sure we have a good audience there that wants to buy merch and, and listen to what they have to say. Um, and help them, you know, start to get back to building that living back up. Chris, do you think we could um, hit the woo button? Yes. Well, woo! yes. First of all, we need two point nine, so we do need woo! a Bob Woo. Beautiful. What else you need? Uh, do you think? Can we show that? There's a thirty second Cable House presents video on the Give Local on their Give Local page. Mm. Can we watch that? Um, I can pull it up if you ask JJ another question and you give me yeah. a minute to find oh, it. Yeah, absolutely. How about if I set up that video a little bit? Because it, it is. Is that pre-pandemic, that video? Yes, that was, uh, that, the footage you'll see was shot in February of 2020. So yeah, right before the pandemic, right yeah. before everything shut down. Um, but that band is coming back uh, in August. That's not announced yet. We just have a save the date on our website, but haven't said who it is, but it's, it's GA20, That's awesome. uh, which is a blues trio uh, from Providence, Boston, also New England. Uh, we do vary the genres a lot, and we try to vary the perspectives and voices that we present. So, you know, people of color, uh, a lot more women-fronted bands this year, um, LGBTQ voices. Um, however, if there's anywhere that we are a little bit skewed uh, and stacked, it's bands from New England. That's just a community I'm a part of yeah. and people I know. And once you know a couple people, you start yeah. knowing everybody. So yeah. we have had a lot of bands from New England, but... Uh, they do come from all over the country, and we've had some Canadian acts and um, one Australian. Oh. Yeah. What do you think, Chris? Let's see how this works. The sound won't be perfect, but we'll give it a best shot. Cable House Presents is an independent concert series that features up-and-coming national touring acts in an intimate listening room environment. We rent out York's historic Central Market House about once a month and turn it into one of York's best live music venues, where concert goers can enjoy an intimate exchange between artist and audience. Ticket sales cover only a portion of our expenses, so we rely on support from the community to bridge the gap. Please consider designating your Give Local York contribution to Cable House Presents to keep the music going. Love it. Love it. I remember that. I took photos at you that did. concert, I think. Yeah, they they were they were wild. Pre Our audience really likes blues a lot. Blues yeah. acts have um, historically been the ones that uh, sell the most tickets for for our shows. Awesome. Chris, do you have any parting words, parting words for our friend JJ here? Um, sure. Um, thank you, JJ. Um, it has been wonderful to see you again and um, there's me. JJ has, JJ is just one of those people that, um, is always there to just ask, Hey, what do you need? How can I help? Like, what, what can I do? And to me, that's, that's what York is about. Um, you I know, I've met film a dog for you anytime. <laughs> <laughs> if that's what you're asking, Chris, I will film I'll, a dog. I, despite I the dog allergies dog right now, by the way, I was, I was unaware of the dog allergies when I asked you to, to do Hank cam. So I do apologize oh, for being listen, insensitive I was already to that. Ready to lay down on the floor with Hank. So don't worry about it. I, um, I can't not pet a dog. She like is that. also allergic to grass and baseball. So yeah, she can't walk out that door either. And cats. And I sleep every night with one basically on my face. So. JJ, it's wonderful to see you again. Um, you know, we, again, we talked about how we wanted to start the day with uh, Emerson this morning. And uh, as the guy who gets to drop the schedule every year, I said, we got to wrap things up with JJ. And then we're going to wrap things up with Kate and Matt. So 
JJ, thank you for hanging around all day. Thank you for being patient. And um, we appreciate all your great work with these different organizations. Thank you. This is always one of my favorite parts of the day is hanging out with you guys. Likewise. Likewise. <laughs> we'll be back. We'll be back in. Why are you laughing, Philip? We'll be back in. Th- it's, we're reaching that time of day. When you've eaten just Sour Patch Kids for 12 hours. I just started the Sour Patch Kids. Again, shout out to Kind Bars for the excellent peanut butter crunch bar that I had for lunch. We'll be right back. 